Hi folks, Mike Finnerty here, gaming editor and critic, redentertainment.ie. Here's our review of Horizon Forbidden West for the PlayStation 5. No one expected Horizon Zero Dawn to explode like it did upon release in 2017, with the game attaining decent to strong critical reviews but a rapturous fan base. The game went on to sell more than 20 million copies, and its protagonist Aloy established herself as one of Sony's main mascots. In the time since the original game, developers Guerrilla Games has seen managing director and co-founder Herman Hulst tapped to become the head of PlayStation Studios, and as such, PlayStation has positioned Forbidden West as the killer app the PlayStation 5 has been waiting for. That's a lot of pressure for any game to face, but if there was any, it's not noticeable in the game. In simple terms, Horizon Forbidden West is the first unambiguous blockbuster for the PlayStation 5. Forbidden West follows Aloy after the events of the first game, and the sequel pulls one of the great sequel tricks. The world has moved on and left the hero behind. This narrative trick can be seen in games like Mass Effect 2 or Half-Life 2. We see this trope in action in Mass Effect 2 when Commander Shepard dies at the start of the game and when they're brought back to life, the world has moved on without them. Forbidden West pulls a similar trick. At the start of the game, Aloy is aloof and distant from other characters and she doesn't like to get too attached because she's busy trying to halt yet another apocalypse. The closest comparison this plot has is The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, but instead of the moon headbutting the world, there's robot dinosaurs instead and I think we'd all agree that's a very worthy substitution. The graphics, motion capture and voice acting by Ashley Birch help Aloy come to life in ways never seen before, and with this game running in fidelity mode on PlayStation 5 and a good TV, you can convince someone you are watching a movie. In motion, the game looks breathtaking, and there were times where I just stood around drinking in the view or observing nature. Of course, a game needs good gameplay to back up the good graphics, or the game isn't very good. Isn't that right, David Cage? No! The DualSense controller is the star of the show with Forbidden West on the PlayStation 5. The controller reacts and adapts when you're using a bow and arrow, and it feels chunky and heavy when you're going in head first beating the crap of a robot hippo. Much like the first game, players can play it stealthy or charge in head first, like Roy Keane after a few red bowls. Of course, the elephant in the room when discussing any sandbox game is how does it compare to Breath of the Wild. The original Breath of the Wild was released mere weeks after the original Horizon game came out. As such, Breath of the Wild is now the standard of which all sandbox games are based on. Forbidden West very obviously is inspired by Breath of the Wild, but it falls short in a few key areas. For one thing, Link is nowhere near as talkative as Aloy. Picture, if you will, a scale of video game protagonist talkability. On one end of the scale, you have Gordon Freeman from Half-Life. On the other end of the scale, you have Duke Nukem rattling out action one-liners 17 times a minute. Get that crap out of here. After Horizon Forbidden West, we may have to invent a new scale. We're using shock ammo. over this area. Might have some useful data. Let's get up there. Every single thing is picked up and remarked upon, from picking up rocks, resources, engaging enemies, or seeing something pretty in the game world. Yes, this is for the audience's benefit, and this isn't a hit on Ashley Birch's performance by any means, but it does get a bit tiresome as the game goes on. The other major area where the game fails to match up the Breath of the Wild is the environmental puzzles. First person Sony games in particular have a very bad habit of thinking they can break up the combat with something monotonous. It's the stealth sections in Spider-Man, it's the guitar bit in The Last of Us Part 2, and here, in Horizon and Forbidden West is the environmental puzzles. One early game quest called Death's Door took 90 minutes to complete because the game was very bad at explaining what had to be done. I could have used those 90 minutes to brush up on my Spanish or learn to cook a dish, but no, the game had to put in an environmental puzzle for the sake of variety. When your puzzle is dependent on trial and error to solve the riddle, you're just putting the puzzle in for the sake of it. Just once, we would like an adventure game protagonist to show up to an abandoned vault or cave and everything is working 100% no questions asked. It will be truly novel the day a developer puts that in a game. If the game has spent more time perhaps explaining itself a bit better and trimmed off the flab around the edges, the game would have been a 5 star game of the year contender. With all that said, don't be surprised if Horizon Forbidden West doesn't end up in our top 10 games of the year list. If this game isn't in the top 10, we're in for a hell of a year. In fact, the greatest compliment I can give Horizon Forbidden West is that in spots it reminds me of Fallout New Vegas. I personally regard Fallout New Vegas as my favourite open world game of all time, and when a game reminds me of it, in tone or atmosphere like this game does, you're onto a winner. We haven't really touched upon the twists and turns of the story because frankly, we'd rather you experience it for yourself. If you liked the first game, and chances are you did, you will find a lot to love here. 
The game builds upon what was already great, with refined combat, better stealth and exploration mechanics, even better graphics, top tier voice acting from Ashley Birch, as well as a rich, dense and engaging story in a very profound way. As it stands, we have a beautifully baked cake made by one of the greatest chefs in the world, but it was missing a cherry on top. You will love eating the cake when you're eating it, but you always can't help but feel it's missing that last element to make it truly sore. Thanks for watching, be sure to like and subscribe and keep it locked to entertainment.e for all the latest gaming news. Slango full.